there, what's that you got in that container? And you got your Vitamix. What are you making? Well, is it some kind of a soup or a smoothie? Let's open up the container and see what we got in here. Oh, wow, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? That's delicious. Are you making me a soup today? Well, kind of. Hi there, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal. So what am I making today? It's not actually a recipe that you will eat. It is actually a recipe for your garden. What it is is it's the leftover scraps. You can see I filled up this container. All different kinds of yummy stuff. And we are going to put it into the Vitamix, which I have over here. And we are going to blend it up. So the concept is called a compost soup. I'm not taking credit for it. I'm sure there's probably someone else who maybe created it. But people always make smoothies. And I figured, well, people, if you know what compost is, compost is something that you use in the garden to amend your soil. It adds a lot of nutrients. So what it is is that any kind of vegetable scraps you have, any kind of leaves, or even cardboard or newspaper, can be all mixed in and they say the browns and the greens and the dry stuff and then that creates what people call it black gold. It turns into this incredible rich soil that you've actually created from leftover stuff from your food preparation, from outside when you do gardening and clip the uh, different plants and stuff so you save all that. So what I decided to do is I had this container which was from um, a lettuce and I fill it up and it has a cover and then when it's full, what I do is I take it and I put it into the Vitamix. If you don't have a Vitamix and you have a regular blender, then really make sure that you cut the vegetables much smaller. And also you use lots of water. Don't be stingy on your water. It doesn't matter. Because what you're doing when you're done is instead of you having to put it into like a compost bin or make some kind of way to put it and then have to mix it and everything, you could just actually pour the compost soup in your garden if you have a tree or you have flowers growing or something where you want to add some more nutrients. This is already kind of semi decomposed because you've already blended it. You can also create a compost pile and pour it in there because it's still going to benefit. So anything you choose to do, this just makes it easier and I just keep this in the fridge because if it's in an open container on the counter it's going to smell. And if you have a family where you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, don't forget, you can put your pits or any kind of stems or anything, seeds, or from grapes into the Vitamix. So those things I keep separate, or pits from mangoes, anything like an avocado pits, that I keep separate. And then I could just dump into uh, around something outside. It doesn't really matter. It'll eventually break down, or the animals will start getting into it, and they know how to break those things down. We don't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all this ingredients into Vitamix and I have squash and I have lemon peel and I have greens it's like I say it sounds like a yummy soup that you'd want to eat but again this is not for consumption so we're going to take all this stuff and again when you have a Vitamix you don't need to cut everything down so much but still make sure you use plenty of water and if you have the tamper you want to use the tamper um, that will help press everything in to the container. So this is pretty full now, so I'm going to add my water here, and I'll add probably at least a couple of cups of water to it. And then I'm going to put it here on the Vitamix base, and I'll cover it up, and then I'll give it a whirl, and we'll see what we get. Okay, here goes. There, we got some wonderful compost soup. It's got green and orangish kind of color, so there you have it. That's making compost soup, and again, it makes your life easier because it's really not good to throw out your scraps in your trash. Although it will decompose, think about it. Um, you can reduce your amount of trash probably that you throw out, and also um, it's going to a good purpose, so to speak. You're donating it to a good cause to improving the, your own soil because chances are wherever you live 
your soil is probably not of the highest quality. So when you add something like our compost soup here, you're definitely going to benefit. So that's the story on compost soup. This is the Ross and Vegan Gal. Thanks for watching.